I am wankers. They're bad mannered, brawling, booze monsters. An invasion of ladettes is wreaking havoc on society. I will cuss you in your face. The problem is thoroughly modern, but our solution is very traditional. Two weeks ago, we reopened a 1950s finishing school with the hope of turning Britain's worst ladettes into ladies. Race. At the end of an arduous term, only one girl will be crowned a true lady. The way she traversed that room, she could have been a duchess. But so far, the results have been disastrous. No! Do you realise what you have done through your own stupidity? And this week will be the most turbulent in the history of the school. You're going to have to do some big stuff to get out of this. In an unprecedented move, a familiar face returns. I wonder if she's going to behave herself. And rebellion reaches a new high. You're just pathetic. Don't call me pathetic then. Will you? Do I mean to you? The Ladettes will be tested to the limit at Cliveden, a magnificent stately home notorious for scandal. Yeah. <laughs> Charles. And the girls only add to the house's racy reputation. Get in here, my son. <laughs> It's the third week of term at Eggleston Hall, and it's clear something is seriously afoot. As the pupils descend for the day, it soon emerges they are one ladette light. The girls have awoken to a shock. Under cover of darkness, nightclub bouncer Kelly Simpson has fled. The self-confessed nymphomaniac came to finishing school to prove to her family she could change. I just want to make my mother more than anything proud. At first, she showed potential. But the teachers were worried by Kelly's declining confidence. It was Miss Brewer's assessment that sent her over the edge. I thought you were rather professional last night. Almost like a pro. Is it Jules' name? I listen to him. Kelly's departure has incensed the staff. I believed in her, and she's actually thrown it back in our faces. They said they want to come and become ladies, and this is the way we do it. It's tough, but we get results. Straight talking etiquette teacher Liz Brewer is perplexed. It doesn't make sense that here's a real tough cookie. She's a bouncer, she's been in the Navy, and yet. One little word of criticism, she totally dissolves. A rebellion is fueled by the discovery of a letter left for the Ladettes by Kelly. Oh, sorry I've left, babe. Just my heart and my head is not in it. It can only take a certain amount before I crack. To think that someone is leaving because of those reasons is sick. The girls are beginning to lose respect for school rules. Let's party. <laughs> there is no other way, be cheeky, be rude, be naughty. That way they're going to say, I don't think your heart's in it, and I can say it really isn't. You've pulled it out and trod on it, can I go now? Nima Mataka is a hardcore rude girl who's persistently railed against authority. If I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. You can scream, you can shout, I don't care, I'm not doing it. The outspoken hairdresser was fostered from an early age and ran away from home at 16. And at Eggleston Hall, Nima is still feeling rebellious. This week, we should really, you know, just act nutty. As the shockwave spreads, Principal Jill Harbord attempts to wrest back control. I'm keen to draw a line under the Kelly situation because I think we've got to move on. The teachers will not be defeated. The Ladettes are issued with a new challenge for the week ahead. They've been invited by leading society hostess, Lady Apsley, 
to one of the country's most magnificent stately homes. For a weekend at Cliveden. Cliveden is a playground for royalty and superstars, with a long reputation for scandal. So I get a double bed. <laughs> you may be lucky. The girls will join the bachelors for drinks by the sumptuous pool. Dress suitable swimwear. <laughs> <You're> like that. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll have to impress the cream of high society at a formal reception and lavish dinner. Champagne. It's their biggest challenge yet, and they have only four days to prepare. After two already troublesome weeks, there's now a rumble of anarchy in the air. It's plain to elocution teacher Caroline Sherwood Roberts the ladettes have lost any yearning for learning. Footh. Footh. Fee, fire, foof. Right, it's absolutely totally clear to me that you haven't been practicing this. Don't understand how to pronounce it. Up. Have you asked anybody? When you're given stuff to work on, I want it working properly. When the unruly girls start to run wild, the voice coach attempts to claw back discipline. Ladies, I would like to remind you all that you are at finishing school. It isn't a holiday camp. Today the dynamic has changed, so they're not embracing the whole issue of becoming a lady. In a bygone era, art was considered a suitable pastime for young ladies. After a rocky start to the morning, teacher Susan Wilson hopes she can rekindle the girl's interest in schooling. So I'm going to get you to draw the human body. She opts for shock tactics. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll take her over and just lie down here and I'll just arrange her pose. Okay. A lady should keep composure at all times. I need to move mine a bit closer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. <laughs> but it's a tricky concept for crotch-grabbing Simone Webber. She came to Eggleston Hall, a man-hungry, beer-swilling boob flasher. I'd love to walk into a pub and men just go, hey, instead like, oh, it's only Sim. Do you want to paint Sim? But men don't find it attractive. But they just go, no text, no nothing, just gone, gone like the wind. Despite being an army girl, Simone still has a problem with orders. Excuse me. Whenever I'm naughty, you see me. Whenever I'm good, oh, will you? The class clown's biggest hurdle is her cheek. <laughs> and in lessons, Simone's finding it hard to concentrate. <laughs> I should have focused a little bit more. Do you think so? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because you have to really concentrate. If these girls are ever to become ladies, every second must be taken seriously. But even elocution practice is treated as a joke. Wanking. Shagging. Shagging. Poking. <laughs> it's apparent the girls have lost motivation. Worse still, rude girl Nima now has scant respect for the school. We've worked hard over the last two weeks. We've had tears, we've had stress, we've had everything. So now we're just gonna We can get drunk every single night, find another bottle here and another bottle there. Bottles coming out of our ears, who gives a shit? With a grave situation and a vacancy at the hall, a decision's been taken to bring in a new ladette. Principal Jill Harbord makes a call to a girl she hopes will reignite competition in the rebellious pupils. The defiant ladettes are oblivious to the bombshell that's about to drop. A former pupil has been given the chance to right her wrongs. I wonder if she's going to behave herself. I think she will for the first few days, Rosemary, and mm. then I think it'll probably fall apart again with drink. Good morning, Louise. Welcome to Eggleston Hall. 
Louise Porter came to Eggleston Hall last term to polish her very rough edges. She was a foul-mouthed, hard-drinking torrent of trouble. But Louise showed natural aptitude in class, and Jill Harbord was convinced she could change. I'll show you action will you? speak louder than words. But Louise fell at the final hurdle and was expelled after a drunken catfight. Right, are you going to let us down? No, definitely not. No repeats of last year. You are going to have to prove to us that you will do this because we are giving you that second chance. This is the first time a disgraced ladette has been invited back. It's a chancy strategy that could backfire. Good morning. This is Louise Porter. We need a smile to her of welcome. I smiled. Good. You must all work as a team. Thank you. Thank you. But these girls don't want to play the game and make an abrupt exit. It's a little weird for me because I feel like I've come into another group and I just have to try and change. It's hard. Obviously, is one of us all going to go this week? Not her. I might pack up my trouble as I went, will Take a bit, do you know what I mean? They're feeling, why is she here? She's very pretty. We're now under threat. Come on in. After yesterday's disorderly behaviour, cookery teacher Rosemary Schrager is ready for battle. Right, you're going to do some wood pigeon. She produces a recipe as foul as her temper. I know you can do this. You just go like that. That's perfect. Stop it. No, get it all out, please. Sorry, we're well, Just get it all out. Everything's out. That is just... Come on, keep going. Mrs. Schrager's remonstrations are wearing thin for hot-tempered Holly. Listen to my lips. If you don't start behaving yourself and start really taking this seriously, then I'm going to come down on you. Get that through your head. Do you understand me? Right, yes, Mrs. Schrager. Back in Basildon, pint-sized tearaway Holly Clements is rude, crude and a menace to civilised society. Go down the boozers, get me nuts in, have a right knees up. I ain't been disciplined properly. This boozy beast is clinging on to her place at Eggleston Hall by the skin of her teeth. Don't be cocky! You're just going on now, you're going on too much. I am You've overdone it, you've overdone it. You know, no, excuse me, Holly, just pipe down, will you? She went on a bit, it was going in one ear and out the other. She went over me and walk and see this big lump and a mouth moving. She makes out, I really, really hate it. But I don't, I really, 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 really hate it. When she's doing something she doesn't like, she kicks up a fuss. She wants to dominate me. She's not going to win, no way, not in my class. New girl Louise has a clear advantage. She's seen and done all of this before. <laughs> and get the inners out. I can't believe how much hard work I've got to go through all over again. It's quite scary. I really want to be able to prove to myself that I can do it. That is simply beautiful. So well done. Presentation, I like that. Louise's praise from Mrs Schrager has rattled Romford rebel Nicole. The plan to stir up rivalry seems to be working. It's just some like, stranger coming in. It's different and it's going to be getting used to her. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, she might get expelled again. <laughs> 18-year-old Nicole Hart may have the face of an angel, but an ASBO and an arrest left her parents in despair. Nicole did get stuck in the angry stage for a long time. She rebelled against everything and everyone. I think being angry for such a long time is a big part of your life. You find it hard to smile and you find it hard to love anything or anyone. And Louise's arrival has ignited Nicole's feisty side. We're going to get fucked up. That's it, I'm drinking that. And rather than compete, it's driven all the other girls to drink. Downstairs, Louise cleans the kitchen alone. Mrs Schrager wants to find out why. 
I'll see you all later. For once, the vice principal is left speechless and turns to Mrs. Harbord in despair. We cannot trust them. There is no trust. This lot are just devious. They're devious. They're playing games and they're devious. Devious. <laughs> How many of you are going to start taking this really seriously? How many of you? Will you put your hands up? Well then why don't you start acting like a lady? I'm just trying to understand where you're coming from, but it's all we've, we haven't been no, it's all we've done. She's had, she's had some wine, that's all we've done. Look, you have broken... How can you think like that? You've broken a rule! <laughs> I mean, you think it's acceptable to have a, a, a bottle of wine I, down there? I, I, I mean, if you're going to be clever, you oh, might as well hide oh, it. Hold on a minute now. No, it's see, minute, see, no. Simply not. A rule is of a rule. Eggleston Hall has been broken. And it is being violated all the time. You're going to have to do some big stuff to get out of this. At seven o'clock in the morning, you all will be doing P E. Is that the start of the lesson or for breakfast? You must be ready by seven o'clock. Okay. I don't think we need to bother about things like breakfast at the moment. It is the we punishment. Need exactly, Mrs. We need some energy. You're unbelievable. Quite unbelievable. Would you like to tell me what the problem is? No. Would you like to stay here, please? Yes. You put your hand up just now to us both to say you'd like to become a lady. I cannot control my temper sometimes, Mrs Schrager. But don't you think it's one of the things you need to control? It is. It is. Mrs Schrager recognises there's more to Nicole's behaviour than meets the eye. She gives her an hour to cool down and calls Nicole to the staff room. But the anger stems from gra grieving and death. Grieving for what? Two, of, two brothers of mine passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. And I, 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 was, um, I was nine years old when my first brother died, and he was 19. And he um, died of a brain tumour. Oh, no. And then 18 months later, my other brother passed away at 21. He, he died of a brain hemorrhage. I had a lot of growing up to do in a short space of time. Oh, Nicole. And it's just been a lot of traumatic times and it, I weren't living at home for um, about eight months. Why in the right way? Because I got violent towards my mum, I was smashing doors up. I was a very messed up, angry little girl. Right. I think now you've told me that, and it's, an, it's, it's incredible, I think you are a very strong person and I think it's about time you stopped thinking of other people and got on with taking care of yourself. Thank you, Mrs. Thank you very much. OK. Although emotions are understandably high, the formidable Liz Brewer won't lose sight of the girls' grandest test so far. I'm really worried about the girls at Clevedon because they still see themselves as a ladette. They actually haven't moved on yet. And there's an awful lot to do between now and then. A much needed lesson in etiquette should equip the girls for Clifton. Poise, polish and polite conversation will be expected at all times. Hi, Simon. The house is beautiful, isn't it? It's very divine, yes. It's not. But ghetto princess Nima is having none of it. I find this this whole thing is set back in the 1940s. I'm just strictly bashment, I'm strictly hip hop, I'm strictly R&B. And what I'm trying to explain to you is things that are totally in your face, mm -hmm. not necessarily the best way to be. But I Taking her cue from Nima, Louise decides to get in on the act. Yes, but you haven't stopped going on it. You will continue going on at you, Louise. Good for you. Are you just going to be sort of supercilious and answer back and, and no. sort of play up to the other girls. You have an advantage on them. And I shouldn't think they particularly like that. She's prepared to risk a fallout with Miss Brewer if it means getting in with the girls. I've just missed you so much. 
I know you've missed me so much. I'm so delighted. I'm just hoping this time you might prove that you really are trying. I am. You are. Well, don't be truculent and talk back like that. The lady thing is just very dull. Don't laugh, don't smile, don't crack your face, don't... You have to sit all stiff and it's just like, relax yourself. At bedtime, Louise is still feeling unsettled. I do still feel like a bit of the outsider because I don't know what's been going on or anything. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. and time to atone for yesterday's sins. Louise wasn't even at the scene of the crime, but she still has to take the rap. Up you come. Come on, this is a punishment. Come on. Up. Ridiculous. Oh, Emma, this is meant to be a punishment. Run. Will you please start running? Let me tell you where you're going to run. No, please, round that tree. Round. I said that tree. Girls, I said round. Holly, round here. You've missed out a tree. Do 10 press ups. Respect for authority is fast running out. Come on, jump. Come on. None of you have got any gumption. You're just pathetic. I've got go with me. No, you have yes, not. I have got go with me. Well, well then why are you I'm just so stop. pathetic? Don't call me pathetic then. Will you? Do I be rude to you? Yes, you're being incredibly rude to no, me. Don't be rude to me then. Simone, I would see you later. No, you won't. I'm going to hide from you. <laughs> you just think it's a I joke? Can't help it. They can't help it. Oh. This is a punishment. Stretch your toes. And I'm fucking doing not. What? Louise? What? Do you want what? to be here? You know I wasn't even there, I can't be asked. No. Louise? Will you? No! Well. Good God, Louise. Here's me ass, I'm going home today. If you've had enough, then I've had enough. You wet creatures, you really are. The indomitable Mrs Schrager is thoroughly shaken. Better leave us here with this. <laughs> you've just, like, have come into a situation of being, like... I'm not going to get into it, I'm not going to fit in, I can't be bothered. feels like everyone just wants to go home, so I'm not being a knobhead and putting myself through all this when Stop everyone... Stay with us. Stay with us. <laughs> Stay with us. We're We're all all to get so far, she's been excluded by all. But in a breakthrough moment, it's the ladettes who win Louise round. You know what I mean? At least you can say you went to Clifton. We can drink and eat those people out of house and home. Get mash up. Oh, no. I just flipped out. I haven't been here long enough. I've got to give it a bigger chance than that. I am genuinely upset that they behaved the way they did. This is not a game. We're trying to give them confidence and self-respect. And we are the enemies. But finally, it occurs to the girls that this time they've gone too far. She was quite upset that they were G. Yeah, she was. And at the end of the day, yeah, we can all get pissed and have a laugh, but we got to have just a little bit of respect. Do you know what I mean? Right then. Come in. It's the oldest ladette, Simone Weber, who's the first to surrender and cross enemy lines. I feel a little bit gutted for being so rude to Mrs. Schrager because I, I upset her today. Yes. And uh, I didn't want to upset her, so I feel a bit guilty. But you've got to learn a little bit of control. Mm. When I don't say things, I get even worse. But just don't open your mouth. That's a deal. Right. It's been the week from hell at Eggleston Hall. With no signs of ladylike behaviour, the Ladette's most spectacular test yet could be an unmitigated disaster. I can't do that. The girls will be presented to aristocracy at Clifton, one of the most glamorous stately homes in the country. The enormity of the task has finally dawned on them. Because they're all yuppies and that, you know, you've got to feel like you've got to be on your best behaviour and... cos otherwise they look at you funny, cos they know... they know how to act and, like, we like learning. Deportment teacher Rachel Holland has got just 24 hours to turn these wayward girls around. If they can't act like ladies, they must at least look the part. What is the key thing we must never, ever, ever do? Open your Open legs. legs. Good. 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 <gasps> Again. 
perfect pronunciation is vital. January, February, March, April, Good. May. For the first time this week, the trying Ladettes November, try harder. November, September. Well done, girls. Put your chairs away. Holly, get your legs tighter together. Much better. You're going to walk down. Good. The girls have been invited to join the bachelors by the pool at Cliveden. And even in swimwear, one must look like a lady. Put this foot down, though. That's, that's it. I'm exposing my boobs a lot. It's... But new girl Louise oh, reveals two rather large yeah. obstacles. Okay. Since last term, Louise Porter has found a new job as a glamour model, not exactly a ladylike pursuit. I enjoy it, and at the end of the day, people like sex, and that's my job. <laughs> it's not only her career that's been boosted. Her newly enhanced breasts now pay the bills. Now I feel curvy, and I love them. They make me feel more confident. The girls are taken to a nearby boutique to choose dresses for the black tie dinner. But Miss Holland struggles to keep Louise covered up. Too booby. No, no. Oh, yeah. No. It remains to be seen whether the last minute preparations will pay off. You go down a train with the old yappies. Cliveden is one of England's most exquisite country houses, set in Berkshire on the River Thames. For centuries, it's been a lavish playground for royalty, the rich, and the famous. Cliveden was the scene of the notorious Profumo affair, a sexual scandal that in 1963 brought down the British government. Bring it on, Cliveden. Oh, it's cold. And now, Eggleston Hall's worst ever intake are about to arrive, and they're beginning to feel the strain. I'm nervous. I'm going to sweat. From the moment they step out of the car, absolute decorum will be expected. Hello. Already, it seems like an ambitious request. The luxurious rooms bring back the Ladette's sense of girlish fun. Come on, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. Look at me being washed about in What's that? It's all right, Rose. I even got a hat to it. It's up there! I wasn't even on it for that long. I'll put on a posh voice. Like my Hello. It's the first time of us staying here, and we've only been in for about 15 minutes. We're just inquiring about some of your alcoholic drinks. I feel like a princess in it. The opulent surroundings are having a magical effect on tough-talking Simone. I have never experienced anything like this before in my life, so as you can see by the smile on my face, I'm, <laughs> I'm well happy. I'm going to try, I'm going to try really hard today to not piss about and just get on with it. The Ladette's first test will be to behave with restraint in the relaxed surroundings of the pool, where some of the country's most eligible bachelors await. Plenty of pimps. Having met the girls before, they already have favourites. I think Nicole's good fun. Society charmer Jonathan Saxby has had a soft spot for Nicole since they met two weeks ago. I think you and I, baby. Me, me and you, yeah. Absolutely. The Saxby brothers are one of the Ladette's biggest challenges. They're renowned for having an eye for the ladies. Heads are turned with the arrival of a new ladette. Who's the last one? There's a new girl. Well, I'll see you later, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Very well. I was just going to go for it. While the girls have fun, others mean business. The Saxby twins move in on the glamour girl. Well, say. Infamous Louise. <laughs> a very attractive girl. But their interest hasn't gone unnoticed by rival Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> the Ladettes think they have the afternoon unsupervised. But no scandalous behaviour will escape the prying eyes of elocution teacher Mrs Sherwood Roberts. Once again, the temperature's rising. 
and rude girl Nima is leading the naughtiness. I am very disappointed and I feel very cross. I thought their behaviour was shocking. And they've got a long way to go tonight to redeem themselves because they're behaving like ladettes, not ladies. Sensing a possible disaster, Mrs. Sherwood Roberts calls for backup. She drafts in the sharp-tongued etiquette teacher, Liz Brewer. The ladettes now face double scrutiny. Their next challenge is a formal champagne reception where the girls will have to impress prominent society hostess, Lady Apsley. I'm delighted to be hosting this evening. It's interesting to come in three weeks into the course to see how they've got on. As long as they stay sober. <laughs> to toast to you drinking in moderation. With all things in moderation. Mo moderation. In moderation. It's moderation. It's moderation. It's moderation. Amazingly, the palatial surroundings start to have a positive effect. And even army girl Simone rises to the occasion. I'm just learning to, to take things on board instead of snapping all the time. It's not getting me anywhere. I do find it quite difficult. Mm. But, well, it's much better to be honest than say it's difficult because uh, I, 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 I respect I, 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 you much difficult. more. With Simone, you see, she's trying so hard. And for her, it's been an emotional journey. As the old Louise starts to reappear, Holly moves in on the new bachelor. <laughs> Charles. Cheers. Cheers to you. And it turns out he's royalty. Prince Kojo Awuzu Nyanteki, grandson of the King of the Ashantis. I thought I was going yeah, off the rails. Yeah, you are. No, yeah, let's have it right. I was going a bit haywire. Mm. So, um, are you getting better? Um, slowly but surely, slowly, yes. Yeah, so what do they say about me then? I'd like to Holly, know. Holly, they did say that you are... Um, Mediocre. Who's mediocre? <laughs> That's got me go, that one. Well, Medi this... bloody ochre. Well, apparently you were bloody awful before you started, so mediocre is quite an improvement. The night has just begun, <laughs> and now the ladettes have to navigate an haute cuisine dinner in the famous French dining room. With a place next to Lady Apsley, Holly faces the problematic task of staying sober. It's drink that's left her on the edge of expulsion every week. The first course is escargot, but Simone has a history with mollusks. When she was confronted with oysters, her reaction was less than ladylike. This time, she avoids returning her snail to the table. Simone's come a long way. Good man, Prince. <laughs> I put my dress on today, and uh, I looked in, in, in the mirror, and I was like, hmm, Sim, you're looking good, love. I'm beginning to love myself now. There's a lady in me It's just, it's just trying to get out. Last term, drinking was Louise's downfall, and with wine freely flowing, it looks like she's back to her old ways. My breast is actually on the top and the silver is behind. So I've written the feel, it's not like hard. <laughs> Aware competition is stiff, Nicole ups her game. You're going to miss a lot if you go home this evening. What will I miss? Pardon? What will I miss? Um, fun. fun. What kind of fun? <laughs> Sitting next to Lady Apsley has shocked Essex girl Holly into sobriety. I think we're hoping for a bit of a transformation. Well, over the last two weeks, you have improved. The changes are definitely done. Oh, thank you. Holly's made a big impression on debonair Darcy Bond. I think I have done excellent tonight. I have been speaking all yuppie-ish all night. Oh, now I just feel oh, calm and... I don't know, I just feel excellent there. I have to say, I've been incredibly impressed. I think they've done really well. 
Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Thank you for a lovely afternoon. The teachers optimistically leave the girls for a nightcap in the library. Obviously I was worried because there's been this huge build-up, this atmosphere. In actual fact, it went a lot better than I thought. Let's get the party started. It's a dangerous move. Ladettes and late nights shouldn't be mixed. Oh my God. The bachelors are not taking the bait, but Louise is back on form. You gotta kiss whatever girl you want, okay? Finally, Nicole gets her way with King's Road charmer Jonathan Saxby. But not for long. The bachelor's cars are waiting, and festivities must draw to a close. These ladettes have only added to Clifton's scandalous reputation. Preparations are underway for the ordeal of weekly assessments. Today, yet another ladette faces expulsion, and already a car has been summoned to remove them. It's been the most turbulent week so far, and the pupils' every wrong move must be dealt with. Oh, do you know the wine? I got rid of the evidence. How are we getting abused? You know that. Go girl. It's been over a year since Louise last faced the panel, and she should be fearful. At Cliveden, she let herself down. My breast is not my car. Maybe I'll have to feel. <laughs> I heard that there was an awful lot of bosom showing. Bosom? Well, you know what What's they bosom? are, don't you? Boobs. Boobs, yes. Um, there was no nipples, no one seen my breast. I would hope there wasn't. I can't believe what you've just said. The lady does not show everything. I was extremely disappointed in you last night because you overdrank. I was a little drunk last night. If you're going to be here, you are, this time, going to address this problem and change. Her accent hasn't changed, her posture hasn't changed, her attitude hasn't changed. Her boobs have. Oh, right. <laughs> Poor Holly, Holly. So far this term, Holly has just scraped through every assessment. <clears throat> just want to go in and get Ivan's on with you still answer back. It's actually been cocked. You're still very much a barrow boy, not the baroness. However, what was excellent was your behaviour at the champagne reception and at the dinner. I was very proud of you. You managed to control your drinking. Mm-hmm. No, it just felt really nice to be in control and know what I was doing. So why are you getting upset? I don't know. You're receiving so much praise. <laughs> it's, oh no, it's just because I was proud of myself. I went quite well, actually. With all the cockiness she has, I think Holly has come a long way. And I got a bit tearful when they said that about that I'd done good for not drinking, because it just like, because I know that I just felt that I was going to go there. <laughs> oh, shut up, babe. I thought I was going to fuck it up, basically. You didn't, you didn't. I know, but Goodness. that's why I'm upset, cos I didn't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Nima. Since Kelly left, Nima has had a bad attitude in class. Her behaviour around the pool at Cliveden overstepped the mark. I was deeply shocked, Nima, by you. Once you got around that pool and in the water, you completely forgot everything you'd been taught here. But at the time, we didn't. I didn't really see that. I was just having fun. Do you they think asked... it's a joke to become a lady? No, of course not. You don't actually seem to be taking what we're saying on board. I also still think that you look at us as the enemy. Somewhere along the line, we've had a hiccup. 
and it's gone wrong. And then they've got the I audacity the to it. turn round and say that I'm not changing for a call, basically. I might as well just go back in there and just... Nima's not prepared to let the teachers win the fight. Please don't do it, Nima. Honestly. What is the point? There is no point. I can't do any more what I'm doing. Reluctantly, Nima backs down. After a bumpy start to the week, Simone redeemed herself at Cliveden. I can only give you praise. You looked wonderful, didn't you? How did you feel? I wasn't looking forward to putting the dress on because I didn't know how I was going to carry myself. But as soon as it went on, I just felt like a proper lady. You are most definitely turning the corner. If she hadn't turned it around, I wouldn't want to see her back. When you do behave and you do act like a lady, it's quite... Mm. In, in, inside that, you know, it's, quite, it's, it's nice for yourself. Nicole is the last girl to be called. Her emotional confrontation has not been forgotten. Would you like to stay here, please? <sighs> Calm down, no. I want to talk to you about your anger with me. I apologise for that. We talked about your brothers, and now I do understand a little bit more. But you've got to keep that anger under control. After the most mutinous week in the history of Eggleston Hall, the staff have a hard decision to make. Has she changed from that? And to my mind, not enough. I think she's learnt a lesson. And I think we should give her another chance. Well, good luck, ladies. Despite their difficulties, not one ladette wants to lose their place at Eggleston Hall. As the girls are summoned, tensions run high. I think you are beginning to become slightly more ladies and less ladette. But I'm afraid we have serious reservations about two of you. Nima. Now, Nima, we're not really sure that you are embracing what we're trying to teach you at Eggleston Hall. I have slipped up on a number of occasions. Uh, it's been very hard. Louise, the things that were issues last time are still issues. And did try hard. Yes, but not hard enough, Louise. Yes. Someone has to go. We do not think as a lady, Nima, you have enough potential. We will ask you to leave. It's fine. Thank you. Girls, I would like you now to go back to your common room. This is just too much, you know. It's like a, it's like a beautiful holiday <laughs> prison. I think my time is way overdue. I'm not gonna oh, say she's goodbye. got a pink outfit oh. and that ghastly tracksuit. <laughs> Shall I put my hood up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go on, go oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I think it's the right decision, oh, Rosemary. So right? do I. I'm afraid. So do I. <laughs> Keep it real, girls. I love you too. Bye, girls. At the end of a harrowing week, there is at least a newfound glimmer of commitment. The four musketeers. <laughs> but it remains to be seen whether these wild girls can be tamed.